All right, today on this 2012 Chevy Silverado, we're going to install part number 90885 from Takancha. This is the P2 brake controller. First thing we need to do is go ahead and find a factory wiring harness on our truck. Now it's located uh, behind the dash, underneath the steering wheel, just a little bit towards the left, and a little bit left of the brake pedal. Now it's pretty far up in there, so it'll take a while to find. So take our wires, we'll just gently pull them down. All right, when you look for the wires, you wanna look for this bundle right here with the dark blue wire, bright orange wire, a light blue wire, a white wire, and a red wire for black stripe. There's five wires here, but we'll only use four. We're gonna use the red with the black stripe. That's a 12 volt battery feed. We're gonna use our blue wire, which is our output from our brake controller going out to the trailer connector. Our all white wire, which will be ground. And our blue wire with the white stripe. That'll be our signal coming from our brake switch. So we will not use the orange one. So let's put that out of the way for now. We'll cut the wires flush and strip them out for buck connectors. Then we'll hook up our wire harness from the brake controller to here. Where we'll hook up one wire at a time. So we'll start with our blue wire first. And this is our, our brake controller wire harness. And we did add some loom to it. So we'll just take our buck connector, it comes with it. We'll be connecting blue to blue. Blue is our output to the seven pole connector. Now we'll work with our wire with the red and black stripe. That's a 12 volt power supply. And that will go to black on our brake controller harness. Our white wire for ground is going to connect to our white wire in our brake controller harness, which is also ground. And our blue and white stripe, which is our brake switch signal, will go to the red. All right, we'll go ahead and tape up our wires. And then we'll run our wire to the location we're going to mount our brake controller. Now we've got our brake controller in our bracket, so we're going to mount it in this location right here. Then we'll use a screw to mark it. Then we'll go ahead and drill out our hole. Got one screw holding in place. Go ahead and level out. Put the brake controller in. If we're happy with that, we'll go ahead and mark for our second hole. Take our wire harness, pull it through the bracket and into the brake controller. Snap it in place. Then we'll take our remaining wires and zip tie them safe out of the way. Okay, now we got our brake controller hooked up, but we don't have any power coming to it. So we'll have to go underneath the hood and make some connections. You see our fuse box here. Now we have to hook up this wire here, which is labeled aftermarket 12 volt trailer power feed. So we'll take the cover off. The wire we need to hook up is tape to the wire harness, so we'll have to cut the tape and pull the wire loose. Then we'll attach it right here. Now it doesn't come with a nut to hold it down. It's a 10 millimeter nut, 1.25 thread pitch. And you can move the handle up just a little bit, but you don't want to lift both of these up at the same time. This will disconnect you from your wire harness, and you may end up needing a trip to the dealership. All right, we'll just put our handle back into place and then our cover too. And with that, that'll finish it for our install part number 90885, the Prodigy P2 brake controller on our 2012 Chevrolet full-size pickup.